The gospel begins, fear no one. In my family, there are six Desmond boys. So we stood pretty strong on the block. Nobody messed with one of us because they would have to mess with all of us. And so it was uh, pretty easy to um, fear no one at that time. In fact, it was um, the Desmond name wasn't famous, but the sense, the knowledge that there were six of us went so far as I was actually attending a different high school than my brother. And when someone started to, to mess with me, somebody else said to him, do you know who his brother is? And so they stopped messing with me. That's, uh, that's how we got to fear no one. But my dad didn't teach us to fight or to get into fights or to try and fight anyone else. It wasn't about trying to, you know, be on top of everything. Rather, my dad had a different sense of fear no one, of what it means to, to be a man, to be strong in this world. The other day I was... Um, Actually, almost all last week, because it takes time to clean up all the stuff out. But I was painting my basement. So whenever I'm painting, I turn on the music, and um, it's usually crooners. So you're talking Bing Crosby, Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, those kind of people. Um, yeah, I, I know none of you know who they are, but back in the old days. And um, so I turn on the music, and I'm painting, and I'm singing. And the reason I do that is that's what my dad did. Whenever he painted, he would turn on the music. It was the only time he turned down the stereo was when he was painting, and then he'd sing along. But my dad would sing along whenever he was working, so we'd be outside landscaping, he'd sing. And you go out in the world today, there's very few people you see walking down the street singing at all. Everybody's got their headphones in, everybody's listening to music, but nobody's singing along, nobody's enjoying it. Um, they're just listening. Every now and again, you'll see some people in the car bouncing along with the radio. But uh, otherwise, otherwise, nobody sings like that. But my dad would do that all the time. And some, for bad or for good, that was one of the gifts that he ended up giving to me as well, that, that sense that you have to be lighthearted. You have to have that strength, not from your muscles, not from your riches, not from your fame, but from your heart. And what's inside your heart you bring out to others with no fear, no shamefulness. You simply let others know what you have. So in the gospel, Jesus begins with fear no one, and then he says the line that we all remember, but it's not the line he wants us to remember. So the line that we all remember, in fact, it's in a Beatles song. Again, I'm aging myself, I guess. But in a Beatles song, nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor a secret that will not be known. That's what we remember. Because we use that to warn each other. All your secrets are going to be shown out there. And we've gotten so bad at that, we actually put them out ourselves on Facebook. But that's what we remember. However, that's not what he wants us to remember. What he wants us to remember is what I say to you in darkness, speak in the light. You see, when Jesus tells us to fear no one, he's not talking about our sense of strength or even our character. He's talking about taking what has been given to us and bringing it to someone else. He's going to ask the disciples, that means he's going to ask us, to do that dirty Catholic word, that dirty Catholic word, evangelize. To let others know what we have received. To take the secrets of salvation, of God's mercy, God's love, eternal life, and to bring them out into the world. And at no time is that more important than now when people are afraid. When people are afraid and even questioning whether or not the times we live in are absent of God. And so, 
We have to look deep inside ourselves. We have to see what God has given to us, that grace that has been part of our lives, and then use that to bring it to someone else. Now, you could go knocking on doors, and that would be perfectly fine if you're wearing your mask and your shield and your gloves and everything else. But more than anything else, to make sure that people know that there's a song of salvation in your heart. We live in a society that would much rather talk about terror on every side, denouncing people, than talking about the joy that comes from faith. But we are not a people to denounce others. We're not a people to look at the terror around us. We're a people who are meant to celebrate the value of life. And this Father's Day, we should all be aware of that precious gift of life that has been given to us. Of course, we honor our fathers who helped to bring us to life, but at the same time, we also must look at ourselves and see what value our life has. Because the Lord reminds us that we are very precious in his sight. And yet, as precious as we are, we have a task set before us to witness to Christ by our words, by our actions, by our prayers, by the lives we live so that Others might hear that song of joy that comes from within, that comes only because the Lord's love for us. They might hear that song of joy and take it up themselves so that the whole world might praise God, our true Father. Amen.